Hey guys, it's your host, the Snack Gladiator. And today, we're gonna be comparing two very similar cereals. The first, I'm sure you've heard of, Fruit Loops with our friend, Toucan Sam. There he is in all his glory. Very nice box art here, very colorful, very um, welcoming and inviting. We'll put that aside. And for years, Toucan Sam has been battling his arch nemesis. You might not have heard of him, but he's out there and he's vicious. His name is, I, I don't know what his name is, but he's, he's a monkey for some reason. There we go. And these are Fruity Hoops. Totally different, bear no resemblance whatsoever to Fruit Loops. So that's right, our two contestants in the gladiators, gladiatory, glad, 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 the two contestants fighting today in the gladiator arena are Fruity Hoops and Fruit Loops. Let's get started. So for this competition, I have two identical bowls. That way we are controlling for uh, color and texture of the bowl in this test. And I'll be using uh, Fairlife whole milk. I usually get the 2%, but uh, just before I picked up the milk for this video, um, they didn't have any 2% uh, left, not even from another brand. So all they had was the, uh, the whole milk, which is fine. Now that works. I, I don't mind drinking whole milk. I quite like it. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick peek at the nutrition facts here, primarily the calories, 150 calories per serving. Uh, and we have 12 grams of sugar. All right, and we have two grams of fiber. So we'll just be comparing that. I'll cut to a picture of the complete nutrition facts if you wanna pause and take a look at that. And here's a quick look at the nutrition facts. For those of you who want to compare, the fruity hoops are on the left and the fruit loops are on the right. And then uh, we have the Fruity Hoops as 170 calories per serving, 19 grams of sugar, and uh, fiber is one gram. So these are sweeter, but uh, I might have a little bit of a tougher time in the morning, but that's okay. That's okay. Maybe the, um, the extra sugar boost will make up for it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open these up, pour them into the, uh, I'm going to try them dry first and then we'll pour them into the milk and see uh, which one tastes better. So I'm just gonna set the bowls aside here for a moment because the field's getting a little bit crowded, the arena. So let's start by opening up the uh, Fruit Loops. I have broken the seal now. There's no going back. So I think we've all pretty much seen what these look like. We get uh, red, um, blue, green, orange, and yellow. So we get a nice variety here. I'll go ahead and open this up. We'll get a whiff of it. Yep, we get that uh, very, I mean, namely synthetic, but very, very pleasant uh, fruity aroma. I just wafts out of the bag at you right away. So we got that. Let's open up the Fruity Hoops. We got to give him a name. Uh, we'll find a name for this mascot. Maybe he does have a name somewhere, but I don't see it here. There's a little game in the back. You can, uh, I guess, pick colors and then advance along the track. I saw a similar game in the back of a Trix box. So. Ah. Well, this is uh, a deja vu. We have the Fruity Hoops here. They're uh, almost identical in, uh, in appearance. And uh, let's go ahead and open them up. That's interesting. The smell is actually quite different. So, oh, I almost made a mess. Almost made a mess. Cut. All right, so let's compare the, the aromas here. Fruit Loops here. And Fruity Loops. The Fruit Loops have a distinctly stronger fruity aroma, no question. It just hits you as soon as you open the bag. Here, it's, it's present, but 
it's definitely much more subdued than uh, with the uh, fruit loops. So that, that's interesting. I wonder if that'll translate to the uh, to the test as well. Let's uh, let's try a handful dry of each one and see uh, which way it goes. Fruit loops going down the hatch. Cover all. 9,000 taste buds. Mm. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and try the uh, fruity hoops. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay. Let's do one more of each here. Pardon, the, the gladiator, he needs time to uh, coat his palate to make a proper decision. They're very, very similar. Um, I'll show you an up close, uh, show you up close what they look like. Let's do a very similar comparison. The fruity hoops are slightly larger. Here, I'll get the same color. Color wise, there's a slight difference. The uh, fruit loop is a little bit darker than the fruity hoop. And the fruity hoops are a little bit bigger as well. In terms of taste, they're quite similar. I found that the uh, so far I'm finding the fruity hoops are a little bit sweeter. Uh, and that's likely because of the extra sugar. You have an extra 7 grams of sugar per serving. That was 12, I believe, for the fruit loops and 19 for the fruity hoops. So. Texture is ever so slightly different. The Fruit Loops have a little bit more of a crunch to them than the Fruity Hoops. Otherwise, they're quite similar. Um, the smell, again, of the Fruit Loops is, was significantly stronger. However, the uh, in terms of taste, they're actually pretty close. Uh, the Fruity Hoops are a little bit uh, sweeter, but that's the main difference I noted. Maybe the Fruit Loops have a slight... Um, slightly stronger fruit taste, but it's neck and neck here trying them dry. So um, and it's worth mentioning as far as Fruity Hoops goes, there's actually quite a few brands that produces um, Fruity Hoops uh, cereal. I wrote them down here. There's Compliments, Essential Everyday, Serrera. These are all different brands. This one is Chestnut Hill, which is the family dollar brand. Usually you'll find these in the dollar store, um, all these different brands. Uh, so I'm guessing Fruity Hoops is uh, not a trademarked name, so it's kind of the generic uh, version or the generic name for Fruit Loops, which is obviously a, a Kellogg's brand. All right, let's go ahead and pour these into the bowls. I'm going to go ahead and prepare it, and then we'll try with some milk. I take my job very seriously. Okay, so we have the Fruity Hoops on the right. I'll see if I can get show that to the camera a little bit here. There you go, Fruity Hoops. And we got Fruit Loops here. So again, the primary difference here is that, uh, you know, this the, the size of it. The Fruit Loops are a little bit smaller. There's also a little more variation in the Fruit Loops sizes from what I can see. Some of the rings are a little bit smaller than average and then others are um, a little bit larger but as a whole they're still smaller than the fruity hoops so i'm just going to go ahead kind of a uh, dunk in milk here i'm dual wielding my spoons which is uh, critical in order to uh, conduct this test properly and let's go ahead and uh let's give them a shot here we go starting with the fruit hoops here we go That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're gonna set the Fruit Loops aside. Let's try the Fruity Hoops now. Fruity Hoops. Bring that to the camera. Let's see. Fruity Hoops. 
All right, let's try it. Now I'll do it in reverse order. Fruity hoops first. This is science, so you have to do it like this. And back to the fruit loops. Hmm. Okay. So here's the breakdown. It's actually fairly close, I have to say. Um, in terms of flavor, they're extremely close. Uh, I think the uh, Fruity Hoops just have a little, they're a little bit sweeter even in milk. You can taste that slight little bit of extra sugar in them. Uh, the main difference here that I noted both dry and with the, and in milk, is that the Fruit Loops have a little bit more of a crunch to them. They're a little bit denser, a little bit more of a crunch. These are a little bit more, I don't want to say like styrofoam because they're not, but it has that little bit of a, then a little bit less crisp, a little bit less crunchy than the uh, Fruit Loops. But flavor wise, they're pretty similar. Um, it's worth noting that the Fruit Loops were significantly more expensive. I paid $4.75 at Family Dollar for the Fruit Loops, whereas with the Fruity Hoops, I only paid $2.25 for a similar amount. Uh, this one is. The Fruit Loops was 14.7 ounces, and this the Fruity Hoops was 12.2. So, I mean, the Fruit Loops is a bigger box, but you're paying significantly more for a slightly bigger box. So, um, as a whole, the Fruity Hoops are cheaper. So, you know, if price is a big determinant factor, then you might want to go with the Fruity Hoops. And now, in classic Snack Gladiator style, the time has come to declare a winner. And this is the hardest part of the job. This causes me many sleepless nights, thinking and pondering that I make the right call. But alas, someone has to make this choice. So the winner of today's Snack Gladiator battle is... Toucan Sam. That's right, the Fruit Loops came out on top Primarily because of texture. Flavor-wise, they were surprisingly uh, closer than I thought they would be. However, the Fruit Loops have a distinctly more pronounced and uh, more agreeable smell when you open the bag. And uh, the texture is better. It's a little bit crispier, a little bit crunchier. Uh, not crispier, it's just crunchier and stays a little bit crunchier in milk than do the uh, Fruity Hoops. That said, for the money, uh, Fruity Hoops uh, was actually impressive. Uh, they held up quite well in this challenge against the uh, Fruit Loops, and I think they held their own. So kudos to uh, Chestnut Hill for making a pretty quality product there. But in the grand scheme of things, there can be only one winner, and that winner is my friend, Toucan Sam. So do you think I made the right call? Have you ever tried Fruity Hoops? Let me know in the comments below and suggest other Snack Gladiator battles for the future. Until next time, I'm your host, the Snack Gladiator. I'm going to dual wield my spoons. Time to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna name him Snack Gladiator Junior. Perfect.